Well, Hellfire, it's Rock to Riff, and I am back for another Metalhead Emmy. Um, doing some straight up Tobias Forge. Even though to me, the dude will always be Papa and Cardinal Copia and Ghost. <laughs> so I checked out, uh, I've been, the, I'm, I'm a big, bit of, if I can talk, I'm a big, big Ghost fan. Uh, I've started checking out side projects that the dude is involved in. And today's suggestion comes from Mary Gore, which uh, I don't know if this is the real Mary Gore or what, but I like the handle. Uh, try and listen to House of Affection from the Passiflora album by Tobias. Passiflora was a record Tobias made as a sort of solo project under his own name, Though none of the songs were ever released to the public and only a few collectors had the CDs. However, the track House of Affection was recorded online and is now openly available on YouTube. The only other track would be The Breeze, in which there's an old video of the song being performed live. Other than those, Passiflora is basically abandoned and largely unknown. So, uh, I wouldn't say it's largely unknown because I saw a couple different versions of this. I picked this one because I thought the album art looked cool, and then we'll get some of the lyrics. And uh, but there was one version that's up of this track that has exactly 666k views. I was like, "That's fucking perfect." <laughs> um, but either way, let's dive on in. I already dig this. Minor key. A bit of a a bit of a, a Spanish western Unless player. Unless you're coming on your own. There is more than you to know. Don't fake the trembling of your feet. If your intentions are deceived. Unless you're coming on He's all, it's like, it just sounds like a hidden tape of Ghost. It sounds like in, in 30 years, if people unmask this, they'd be like, oh man, fucking Ghost has some demos that never got released, man. Check this shit out. But it does sound like he has a bit of a, a pitch shifter on his voice right there. Like there's a bit of a deepness to it that doesn't sound natural. I don't know, though. I could be crazy in that one. Don't go knocking the door to the house of the fashion Unless you're coming on your own Don't go knocking the door to the house of the fashion I'll be singing this for the rest of the day. should just redo this track Tobias I know it is Ghost basically it's Tobias but get the full band behind this and the and the church synth organs and fucking murder this song this is a this is really good 
like I hope people I hope, I hope people don't get mad at me when I when I before I ever joined a prog metal band <laughs> my songs that I would write I used the ACDC formula bad bad A B A B solo B and put I'd be like man I got a full song here but it works dude simplicity sales because like even though I'm a prog guy and I'm like I want crazy guitar riffs I'm I'm a niche I'm a niche audience member because it's part of it is because I play man part of it is because I I get so much into guitarist it's like it's like really I could do nothing but reactions to people playing guitar or drum playthroughs and stuff like that but I know that not a lot of people dig that shit not as much as I do anyway there is a there is a market there is a lot of people like me that love it the same but definitely getting into this territory it's like Tobias Forge he has a way to write a song and appeal not only to me who's I guess in this case in this in this scenario I'm going to call myself a prog snob which I am <laughs> I don't like to be, I don't want to, I'm not here to shit on anybody and tell tell people that your opinion sucks and all that kind of stuff because the older I get, the more I realize that it's all a matter of perspective and what speaks to you. But that dude has just found the perfect middle ground, man. Cause like even though I hear this and I'm my head I'm breaking down the band and musically what's all going into it and it's so simple. If you take out one spot of this, simple. Or here's another thing, simple. But then start combining it all together and it creates just a fucking awesome combination for me to be like, uh, hell yeah, <laughs> for me to be like fuck yeah. It's like. For everybody that's a Ghost fan and likes my channel for the Ghost stuff that I do, if you're watching this, I'm working on another cover song. I'm working, trying to do another song of, of Ghost to cover, and it is. But I'm not going to say it because I want to test to see the people that watch through this. And uh, if you do, if you do do watch this, see it, and you're excited for me to do a cover of that song. Just say got it in the comments. Don't don't spoil it and all that. But uh this track is really quick, catchy. I dig the fuck out of this. Like I don't know why it makes me think of like the Sultans of Swing. We are the Sultans of Swing. But it's not as upbeat as that, but I'm still I love the minor key of this. It speaks to my heart. It speaks to the darkness in my heart. Darkness of my heart. <laughs> It's a keyboard, but it's really cool. Yeah. Short, but sweet. That's another thing about a lot of, or what Tobias does is, 
I'm not a fan of short songs. To me, this is like, it could have went a little over four minutes and I would have been happy. Or I'd have been happier, if that makes any sense. But at the same time, this guy, this guy really does fool me. Because I felt like I, I went on a journey for three minutes and 45 seconds. <laughs> that was really, really, really good. And it's not like the, the song is breaking the mold, but I swear it's just appealing to me so much. It makes me step back into the, the feeling I had when I was first getting into rock and like riding down the road with my dad and I'm sitting there and I was just so small in the passenger seat and I'm looking over at my dad and admiring the man and, uh, some of my favorite times in my childhood is my dad, like, pulling up these classic rock songs. Or we're, we're, we're going to go work on something. And the uh, radio actually plays particular rock songs. And my dad's like, oh, check this out, son. This is one of my favorite ones. Turns the radio up and it's 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 stuff like this. Even though this is a modern track. Once again, Tobias just hits. He hits all these fucking badass things that make classic tracks that turn old music into classic songs that we still sing and fucking listen to, to in 2023. I mean, it's 2023 and some of these songs that people still want to hear every day are from the 60s, 70s, and 80s. That just goes to show you, man, them dudes had something. Them dudes had a particular magic that is just fucking phenomenal. And I swear to God, I think Tobias has that shit, too. Like, I, I've kind of annoyed my closest friends with how much I fucking have become obsessed with this, with this guy. Or I wouldn't say that guy, but... Like, basically, any music that this dude has his hand in, I'm... I'm, I'm Pretty sure I'm going to be down for. I think, though, out of all the side stuff I've heard uh, that's affiliated with Ghost, I think I like House of Affection the most. Like, don't get me wrong, MCC is pretty cool, but I know Tobias isn't a big part of that anymore. But House of Affection, that was really cool. Like, I'm, I want to listen to the rest of this. If this is a whole album, I want to listen to the rest of it. I'm going to try my damnest to find that shit. Uh, but Mary Gore, thank you for uh, the suggestion. I know I've seen you pop up in the streams a few times as well. And I appreciate you come hanging out when I'm doing the game inside of the channel. Uh, if this ends up being your first time to my channel, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. I am always on the hunt to check out new stuff, see what's going here, see what's going on there. If, uh, leave me some suggestions. Or if you know a shit ton about this album, leave me some more trivia. I'm always interested in what's going on with this, that, and this. Uh, but leave me some more song suggestions. It doesn't have to be anything related to Ghost. It can be something related to Ghost. Uh... It's whatever you're listening to at the moment. Leave it in the comments. Let me know. And I'm going to do my damnedest to check it out. And Because uh, I'm always on the hunt to increase my music knowledge and listen to as much shit as I can while I'm here. But with all that being said, stay positive, stay rocking. And I'll catch y'all in the next one.